Hello everyone, it's Ben. I'm back again with our latest product. It is a Virtual DJ Venue Magic plugin. This plugin allows you to directly control and run Venue Magic timelines as well as the uh, beat tapper from directly from uh, Virtual DJ without having to leave Virtual DJ. So what I've got up here is I've got Virtual DJ running in a very small window uh, not full screen uh, where I would normally run it full screen and in the background I have Venue Magic. Uh, this will work with Venue Magic DMX AV and SC Plus which is uh, not quite released. Uh, it will be released here shortly so I wanted to just give this uh, briefly lo little video and you can watch uh, and I've got these lights set up right now I've just got some basic chaser timeline set up uh, to be able to do this with. So notice none of my cue buttons in Venue Magic are set up. I have my beat, beat tapper set up. Uh, and Virtual DJ will automatically update the beat tapper. So let me go over here to Virtual DJ. So where you can find this, once you've installed it, it shows up under Effects, Others, Venue Magic Link VDJ for Virtual DJ. And the way this works is you go into setup and it will find your particular venue magic. Now this is actually a, a very advanced for, uh, feature of venue magic. It will actually allow you to run venue magic over the network. So you can actually do this on two separate computers. So you run Virtual DJ on one and your venue magic on another. Uh, in this case, I'm running on the same uh, machine and it works just fine on most modern uh, machines. So it will actually go out, search the network for all available available Venue Magic servers. If you have a firewall, sometimes that gets in the way. Uh, if I click on here, I can show, show server timelines. You can see all of my timelines so that I can make sure I have the right server. I can click find servers again. It will actually go out and search again. Uh, so I can select which server I want, click OK, and then if you have if you set up a passcode or a different server port you have to set that up there so click OK here and that will give me my list of timelines in this box up here I can then drag these timelines over to a button then and that will assign it to a button just like assigning uh, to queue buttons inside of uh, venue magic I can then set what foreground background to play it in and whether or not I want it to play loop in the case of all of my chasers, I always run them as foreground one and always loop them. Click OK. Uh, in addition to the 16 buttons you have uh, on each, you actually have eight banks of 16 buttons for a total of 128 possible timelines you can run just from these buttons. So that's a whole lot of buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I've got two songs loaded. I'm going to go ahead and click play. and it's going to automatically update. Now if I click Chase, you can see that it's actually in sync with the, uh, with the beat right now from the uh, song. If I switch songs, so I've got to start this one playing, Virtual DJ will actually, as you re get right past the middle point, it will automatically uh, tell Venue Magic the new BPM. Venue Magic will automatically stay in sync. So right now, if I switch to Venue Magic so we can see the button, you can see my beat tapper is showing at 99 beats per minute. It's actually in sync at 98 point whatever it was, 98.96. Um, for the display, we round it up. If I switch back over here to the other one and switch back, you can see it automatically updated to 128. And it's automatically assigning, sending the beat itself to ven uh, Venue Magic so that it can keep the lights in sync to that beat. So uh, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot. If you need to stop particular timelines, you can click the stop all button. If you need to, uh, what I've, if you set them up as foreground cues, foreground one, you can actually switch chases. And obviously this one didn't get set up properly, so I'm going to play this one looped, foreground one. Let's check this one as well. Yeah, these resets. So, okay. Now, if I do chase three, you can see it automatically updated to chase three. 
click chase two again you can see it's going again okay and we basically got it going so lots of fun uh, notice I'm actually running the two chases at the same time uh, which is perfectly valid to do within venue magic so switch back and forth load a new song let's grab another really slow one feelings I won't let you I won't let make you all listen to that but I just want to demonstrate that it will actually slow down completely to the new beat. so now it's at 81 point uh, 81 point something BPM 81.370 BPM so have some fun with this look forward to hearing some feedback and we'll talk to you later